So Rana, I know that the PRAM model is based on research and, and patient experience and uh, clinical experience. And I know that the latest research shows that taking care of patients that are dying is the number one anxiety producer for nurses. And that when uh, one of the national survey institutions uh, surveyed patients for patient satisfaction, that creating a relationship with the healthcare provider is the number one thing that families want and, mm -hmm. and aid in their satisfaction of their care. So how did you and Kathy come up with this idea of PRAM? Well, what you're talking about now is partly why we did it, because as nurses and experienced clinicians, we know that that, that time for families is a very difficult time, and it makes it hard for, for those of us caring for them as well. One of the things about being with the dying or, or someone if, like a baby who has died being with the parents is that there's a lot of intense suffering. Mm -hmm. And it's impossible to be in that situation with them without feeling that as well. And so Kathy and I believe that having a process that one goes through is helpful. So PRAM stands for pause, mm -hmm. reflect, acknowledge, and be mindful. In my own practice some years ago, I remember using that PRAM model without naming it mm -hmm. as such, but we think that there's value in giving it a name because it becomes more incorporated and one thinks about it more. Mm -hmm. I was working um, on a unit where someone had had a miscarriage and I had learned during report that the woman was devastated and I was assigned to her and her door was closed. And I just remember before going in the room I did just exactly that. I paused and I thought about how she was going to be, how I was feeling. I acknowledged that and I was very mindful of what I needed to do as I walked through the door. And I came in and there she was in her bed with uh, tears running down her face, kind of swollen eyes. Mm -hmm. And next to her, she was hanging on to a little jar with what she had brought in after mm -hmm. her miscarriage. And I, I, I think about that often because of how important it was for me to be able to be with her by preparing myself. Mm -hmm. And I could sit down beside her and listen to her. Mm -hmm. So that's an example of, of how mm -hmm. I've used it. How, how about for you? Well, you know, having worked in the emergency room for many years, I think the part of being mindful is so important because in those moments, you're, you're with a family that's going to remember that for the rest of their life. And if you're mindful of what is happening in your role uh, of support, it is so important because the family walks away remembering that and, and creating hopefully a meaningful moment that they'll remember for the rest of their life. And so I know I too have done that. I have paused and really thought about this is a, a, a life-altering event that has happened for this family and I need to be present and, and be with them, as you were saying, and, and acknowledge that it, it's hard. It's hard as care providers, and it can be scary at times. You're not sure what's behind that door. And so, but when you take those m moments to prepare, the experience can be uh, so overwhelming and, and, and wonderful given the cir circumstances. And I think that's why in a book called Meaningful Moments, Ritual and Reflection, we wanted to introduce that model because we think that it's quite helpful, useful to anyone who's with families at this particular time. So good to talk to you about you it. You too. Thank you.